Back here in Frisco, I'm Bobby Broyles along with Rob Washburn. And today at the media day session, Rob, uh, you know, we decided to approach a story about two players that have a bit of a injury history and history in regards to this game right here in the national championship. Yeah, Dimitri Holloway and Rashad Robinson, two guys uh, that are veterans and leaders on this defense and have both had outstanding seasons, have been big keys mm -hmm. to them having the top-ranked defense that they've had this year. But Dimitri, on this field in 2016, the year James Madison won the national championship, was hurt in the first quarter of that game, a very serious injury that not only cost him the rest of that game, but all of the 2017 season. Yep. Rashad Robinson was an All-American, the preseason defensive player of the year going into the 2018 season, was hurt in the preseason and missed all year, but made the decision to come back this year to chase this dream. And in the story of those two guys who have realized their dream and have a chance to play for a national championship here on Saturday. We got caught up with both of these gentlemen along with head coach Kurt Signetti, and this is what they had to say. Uh, just knowing when I went out in 16 due to my ankle, uh, it was kind of it was kind of challenging. Just knowing that I had to return back to the same field that actually put me out yeah. for my uh, season engine injury. So uh, it was one of those situations I just had to toughen up, you know, take it under the chin, just hope for the best. And now I'm back here, so I just gotta get revenge on myself. So, oh, it's just a blessing, you know. Um, this is what you uh, came back for, absolutely. As um, soon as I got hurt, you know, I, it was no question that I was coming back. You know, I didn't want to end my career like that at JMU. I wanted to fight back and show that I can bounce back from an injury like this and also the uh, brothers in that locker room you know they gave me encouragement so I knew what type of team we was capable of having back and the guys we were coming back to so it just everything's come full circle. Well two great guys that are great players but even better people and uh, have fought through some injuries uh, throughout their career I think this is Rashad's third uh, national championship yeah. and it's been great to get him back on the field uh, you know last 10 or 11 weeks in a row and Dimitri too has had an injury or two throughout his career probably hadn't been in this game quite as many times as Rashad and he's a tremendous player and tremendous leader both those guys are captains for us and but I also think it speaks volumes to uh, Brian Phillips our strength and conditioning coordinator and what he does with our guys and our ability to keep our guys healthy and keep them on the field. Uh, it's a surreal experience. Uh, just knowing back in 16, I didn't get to play the full game at all. Yeah. And then came back in 17, didn't get to play at all. So just being here this time, just knowing you got to take the moment in and just knowing that you're coming out here for business and just knowing that go handle your business on Saturday. Yeah. So. Um, you, you, uh, obviously, everyone knows how like the story, and I want to come out with that victory. But for the most of the uh, part, I just told the younger guys to embrace every moment and have fun when you got to have fun. And then when it's time to focus up and uh, things like that, to make sure you're focused and ready to go. A great story on both Dimitri and Rashad, Rob. And, and we're looking for them to make big impacts for this team on Saturday as they have all year long for this JMU defense. Yeah, they've been two of the leaders of a JMU defense that has been as good as any team in FCS all year long. And they're going to be key for JMU to have success on Saturday. But mm -hmm. what makes it such a great story is two guys that have had to overcome an awful lot of adversity, have missed entire seasons due to injury with the goal of getting back to this point on Saturday and to realize that dream. And, of course, the big dream would be to walk off with the national championship. Well, we look forward to seeing how they do on Saturday. Remember to continue to follow us all weekend long here from Frisco.